Hi students, now problem number 12. A train is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour. That is the initial speed. Brakes are applied so as to produce a uniform acceleration of minus 0.5 meters per second square. What will happen when brakes are applied to the train? Will the velocity increase or decrease? Yes, it will decrease. So, the train will have a negative acceleration. That is why they are given minus 0.5 meter per second square. It is retardation or deceleration. Find how far the train will go before it is brought to rest. Before it is brought to rest means what finally it is going to stop. Finally it is going to stop. Understand? So, the initial velocity is 90 km per hour. And the final velocity, since it is brought to rest, uh, the final velocity must be equal to 0. And its negative acceleration is given as minus 0 0.5 meter per second square. Okay. So, for that, uh, we are going to determine how far the train will go means the distance traveled. The time taken is not at all given. The time is not given. Understand? So, carefully we will have to handle the three equations of motion. So, first we will write the given quantities. So, the initial velocity of the train is 90 km per hour. How will you convert this 90 km per hour into meter per second? Yes, you have to multiply by 5 by 18. So, this is 90 multiplied by 5 by 18. Now, the unit is meters per second. Okay. Now, 18 fives are 90. Is it not 18, 5 times uh, multiplied is 90. So, initial velocity is now 5 into 5 is uh, 25 meters per second. And the final velocity is equal to 0 because the train is brought to rest. Okay. Acceleration is given as what? Uh, minus 0 0.5 meters per second square. Time is not given. Now, how to find uh, the distance travelled, the third equation of motion? Is it not velocity versus displacement relation? So, from the third equation of motion, V square is equal to U square plus uh, 2A, yes. Is it not? So, V square is equal to U square plus 2A, yes. Now, final velocity V square is how much? Uh, 0. So, 0 is equal to u square. u square is what? 25 square. So, this is 25 into 25. Then, here 2 into a into s. But a is negative. Is it that? a is negative. So, here I am using a negative sign. Multiplied by what? 2 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into the distance traveled. So, this is equal to 25 into 25 is 625. 25 square is 625 minus 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is how much? Half. Is it not? 0 0.5 is half. That is 1 by 2. So, 0 0.5 into 2 if you multiply means it is 1. Understand? 1. So, 1 into yes is yes. So, 0 is equal to 625 minus S. Yes. Therefore, S is equal to how much? Minus S comes to the left as S. Yes. So, 625 meters. This is the answer. Very simple number they have given. Very easy to understand. Is it not? So, using the third equation of motion, namely velocity versus displacement relation, we have found that the distance... How far it is brought before coming to rest means it will travel 625 meters. Understand? Okay, now we come to the problem number 13. A motor boat starting from rest. What is given here? Initial velocity is equal to 0, is it not? It starts from rest. From a lake. It accelerates in a straight line, rectilinear motion. At a constant rate of 3 meter per second square. So, constant acceleration is 3 meters per second square is given. 
and it is uh, accelerating for 8 seconds. Time taken is 8 seconds. How far does the boat travel during this time? Very simple again. So, the motor boat starts from rest. Uh, so, it is uh, u equal to 0 because it starts from rest. And acceleration is equal to 3 meters per second square. Okay, 3 meters per second square and the time taken is equal to 8 seconds. Direct sum. There is no conversion of unit from kilometer to meter and all. Direct. So what is asked here is the distance or the displacement. So displacement versus time relation namely the second equation of motion. So from the second equation of motion S is equal to ut plus half a into t square. So u is 0 plus uh, next uh, product is half into okay this is half into acceleration a is 3 into time square is what 8 into 8 so this is equal to 3 into you can cut this 8 4 twos are 8 and this is 4 into 8 so this is equal to 8 fours are 32 so 3 into 32 okay 32 into 3 is what 96 so this is equal to 96 therefore the distance traveled by the boat is equal to 96 meters so this is the answer so here since the boat is starting from rest we have taken initial velocity equal to 0 and the time is 8 second acceleration is 3 meter per second square we have used the second equation of motion. So, S equal to ut plus half at square. And after substituting, we have got the answer as how much S equal to 96 meter. I hope you must have understood this well. Fine.